Little children come to me, for the kingdom of God is theirs. We are so happy to always have you with us. Let's pray. Hands together and eyes closed. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you that you've enabled us, King of glory, to have this lesson today. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen. 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 Now let's join teacher Deborah for our lesson today. Hello children. Welcome once again to our lesson today. I am very excited to have all of you watching. My name is teacher Deborah and we're going to have so much fun today as we learn more about our wonderful God. But before we do that, can you stand up? Everybody stand up. Stand up. Come on, stand up. Stand up. On your feet, stand up. Everybody, stand up. Is everybody standing? Now it's time to turn to your neighbor and look at them with a big smile, a big godly smile, and welcome them with a song. You know the song. Do you know it? Come on, let's sing together. Hello, 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 hello. It's nice for me to have you here. It's nice for me to have you here and now that we've all gathered and we are all ready to start i would like us to pray together all right everybody hands together and eyes closed now children will you please repeat after me say thank you god for today thank you god for all the boys and girls Help us to learn. Help us to grow. Help us to know you. Even as we learn. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now that you have prayed with me, I know you're ready to learn and you're ready to grow. Now, do you have your Bible? Can you find your Bible? I have got two Bibles with me here. There is an adventure Bible. It has got some pictures in it. And it's very much fun for children. And I have got another Bible. It is a big people Bible. But it's all fun to read. Because it's the word of God. Children, the Bible is a very special book. That God has made. That God inspired so that we can know what he wants us to do. It is a book that gives us instructions to live as people who follow God, to live as people who believe in God. So, it is a very, very special book. Now, do you have your Bible? I'm going to ring my bell three times to make sure you've got your Bible. Do you have your Bible? Have you found your Bible yet? Some people have found their Bibles, and everybody has found their Bible. And now, please join me. Let's sing together our Bible song. Can, you, can I see your little hands, everybody? Show me your little hands. Yes. We're going to take our little hands and pat, pat, pat. Are we ready? Good. Take your little hand and pat, pat. Pat. Take your little hand and pat, pat, pat. Take your little hand and pat, 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 pat the holy Bible. 
Bible one more time. Take your little hand and pat that pat. Take your little hand and pat, pat, pat. Take your little hand and pat, pat, pat. Pat the Holy Bible. So get comfortable. Take a seat and sit down because we are going to learn together. Before we start learning together, I would like you to remind me. Oh, let's do it together. Let's remind ourselves what we learned last time. What did we learn? Do you remember that we learned about God? Yes, we did learn about God. And we said many wonderful things about God. But the most outstanding thing that we said was, God was a God who knows everything. You remember the song we sang? My God knows everything. My God knows everything. My God knows everything. My God is all-knowing. My God knows everything. My God knows everything. My God knows everything. My God is all-knowing. So, in our lesson, we said God is all-knowing. And we read from the book of Psalm chapter 139 verse 4 which told us that God knows the words that we are going to say even before we say them. Did you know that? Do you remember that? God knows the words you're about to say just before you say them. And that's a wonderful God. And we said also that our God is omniscient. We use a very big word. Can we all say omniscient? Omniscient. That word means that God knows everything. And today we are going to learn about another word that talks about our God and the things he knows. Are you ready? Are you ready? Now I want you to think for a moment. If you wanted a superpower, Yes, you wanted to be a superhero and you wanted to have a superpower. What superpower would you like to have? Uh huh. I see some people saying they would like to be like Spidey. Yes. Others say they want to be like Supergirl. Mm -hmm. Others say they want to be like Superman. Very strong. He can destroy anything. Other people want to have. Oh. <gasps> Yes, somebody want, tells me they want to be a super singer, a superstar. That's awesome. Yes, you can do that so that you sing with a beautiful, beautiful voice. That's possible. That can be your superpower. Mm -hmm. ah, there are people who are saying they want to have power to run so fast. Hey, that's true. You can do that. Now, there are some things that we as human beings can do that are things that God can do. Yeah? We know that our God is loving and you and me can love somebody. Okay? Do you know how we love somebody? We can tell them we love them. Say, I love you. We can share our toys with them. We can give them a hug. That is how we show that we love one another. And God is also loving. We can show kindness. And God is also a kind God. But today, we want to talk about God's other superpower. And that is the superpower that we call omnipresent. Can we say omnipresent? omnipresent. It's another big word, isn't it? 
But God is omnipresent. Now, would you like to know what that means? It means that God is everywhere. Can we say together, God is everywhere. All right. Now, before we continue with our lesson, I want you to join me in singing this song. I know some of you know it. It goes like this. God made me. He made everything. God loves me. He can do anything. When I run over here and I run over there, God is everywhere and He loves me. When I go up, 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 I know He's there. When I go down, 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 I believe what I see. When I look in His Word and I search for Him, He rewards me because He loves me. In that song, we have learned that God is everywhere. When you go up, up in the sky, in a jet and fly in an airplane, you will see God is everywhere. When you go down, down, down and dive deep in the sea, you will see God is there. When you run this way and that way, you will see that God is everywhere. So, our God does not just know everything, but he is everywhere. Can we say God is everywhere? Everywhere. God is everywhere. So when you go to sleep in the night, know that God is there. When you wake up in the morning, know that God is there. When you go to the bathroom to do number one or number two, know that God is there. When you go to eat, know that God is there. When you go to play at the playground, when you are playing on the slide, on the swings, and on the merry-go-round, you should know that God is there. Because the Bible tells us that God is everywhere. In the book of Psalms, chapter 100 and verse 139, from verse 7 to 10, the Bible is, King David is asking himself in the Bible, where can I go from you? Where can I run and hide from you? Because you are everywhere. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed deep, deep down, you are there. I rise up in the morning, you are there. If I go to the sea, you are there. If I go to the mountains, you are there. You are on my right hand. You are on my left hand. The Bible is saying God is everywhere. Where is God, children? He is everywhere. Say, God is everywhere. God is everywhere. So, you cannot hide from God. You cannot sneak away from God because God is everywhere. So, would you like to have a superpower like that one of God? Can you be everywhere? I don't think you can be everywhere. Can you be everywhere? No, you cannot. Only God is everywhere. So children, as we wind up our lesson today, we know that there are some different things that God can do that you and I can do. Like loving one another, being kind to one another, like, you know, caring for others. God does that and people can also do that. Now, there are things that only God can do. The first one we learned about is that only God knows everything. And now today we've added another one that only God can be everywhere all the time. God can be with me right here and he will also be with you right where you are. 
God can be with mommy and daddy when they were they at work and yet he can also be with you when you are at school. Now I would like you to close your eyes with me. Imagine God is standing right there with you. Yes, he is. He's right there with you. Now open your eyes. Do you know that God has is here with you and he will always be with you? So you do not have to fear anything. God is there in the dark. God is there when the sun is bright. God is there in the night. God is there always. So stand up. And let's pray together. Are we ready to pray? Let's sing our song before we pray. God is listening. God is listening. When we pray. When we pray. Put our hands together. Close our eyes so quietly, then we will pray, then we will pray. Boys and girls, I would like you to repeat after me. Dear God, I thank you for the lesson today. I thank you. Because you are a super God. I thank you because you are everywhere. I thank you because you are with me. Help me to know that you're always with me. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now, thank you, friends, for joining me for our lesson. And I would like you to tell a friend and another friend that God is everywhere. What are we going to tell them? That God is everywhere. You cannot run away from God. He is always there with you, following you wherever you go, taking care of you wherever you are, protecting you from any harm. All right, it's now time for me to say goodbye. And I want you to join me to sing the song as we say goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, 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 till we meet again another day, till we meet again another Teacher Deborah, we shall never get tired of saying thank you for the good job that you do in our little ones. Now, my friends, it's time to say goodbye so that we can join the big children. Bye. See you next Sunday. We love you. again for this service today. My name is Teacher Carol, as you all know, but if you're new, yes, my name is Teacher Carol. And today, we are going to be doing something interesting. Tell your friends something interesting. Now, stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. And before we do it, I want us to pray. Remember, 
Nothing works without prayer. So everything you do, pray. When you wake up, pray. Every time, pray. So we are going to pray. Hands together and eyes closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the energy you've given us this morning. We thank you, Lord, that we can stand, we can talk, we can eat, we can do so many things, oh Lord of glory. And Lord, even as we enter into the next session, we pray that we shall be energetic and all the glory and honor shall be returned to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. So now children, this is what we are going to do. We are going to do get down, get funky, get loose. So you repeat after me, all right? Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Get down, get funky, get loose. Get down, get funky, get loose. Come on, get down, get funky, get loose. Get down, get funky, get loose. Uh -huh. And move to your head. And move to your head. Head one, two, three, four. One, two, three, Come four. Come on, get down, get funky, get loose. Get down, get funky, get loose. I want to see you dancing. Loose. Come on, get down, get funky, get loose. Get down, get funky, get loose. Uh huh. And move to your shoulders. And move to your shoulders. Shoulder one, two, three, four. One, two, three, Come four. Come on, get down, get funky, get loose. Get down, get funky, get loose. Come on, get down, get funky, get loose. Get down, get funky, get loose. Uh -huh. And move to your knees. And move to your knees. Uh -huh. And move to your knees. And move to your knees. Knees, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, Come four. Come on, get down, get funky, get loose. Get down, get funky, get loose. Uh -huh. Get funky, get loose. Get down, get funky, get loose. And move to your water. And move to your water. Water, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, let's stop there. Thank you so much, children. Clap for yourselves. You've done a great job. And I hope now you're feeling excited. That was the whole point. So that you get excited, you get into the moods of dancing because... Right about now, we are going into our praise and worship. And after the worship session, we are going to go straight to our lesson. See you after. Friends, thank you for joining us in this session of praise and worship. I hope you're ready to dance for Jesus. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, before we start, let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this praise and worship session. We pray that you will take our praise, you will take our worship. In the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
worship our Lord. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are in your presence, my King of glory. We worship. Thank you, Jesus. Hindu, tell us, what have we been learning about this month? God. God, okay. What have we been learning about the previous Sunday? God loves us. And? 
God knows everything about us and is faithful. Very, very, very good. We can see that my two friends were attentive. Eh? We've been learning about God. Who is God, right? God is faithful. Another thing about God, God knows everything about us. He knows about you and me. There is nowhere you can go to hide from God, right? So, today, we are going to learn something special about God. And we hear, not we hear, we know that God forgives people. God forgives who? People. God forgives who? People. Before we start, Helen is going to give us an opening prayer to welcome the Lord to our class today. Hands together. Eyes closed. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this special day. I want to thank you for everything you have provided in our lives. I pray that as we are going to learn, give us the knowledge to understand what you are going to learn about. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, our topic for today is God forgives people. God forgives people. I have a question for you here. Has someone at school ever beaten you? Yes. Someone has ever slapped you or pinched you? Yeah? Yes. Did you fight them back? No. No, you did. What did you do? I forgive him. And what did you do? I forgive him. You forgive him. Okay, so Helen. Yes. Has anything ever happened? Have you ever done something? Something bad to someone? Or something bad to you? Yes. What was it? One day when I was washing plates, I broke a plate. You broke a plate, yeah? Yes. She broke a very expensive plate when she was washing. Was mommy happy about it? No. How did you feel? I was so scared. You were scared. Yeah? Mommy was going to punish you for breaking that plate. And then what happened? My mother forgave me. Eh, she just came back home and said, I forgive you. Yes. Just like that. Yes. She didn't pull your ears or pinch you. No. Or punish you for anything. No. How did you feel? So happy. She was happy. I... Okay. So, in my story, Similar to Helen's, one day when I was still in high school, I had a cup. Yeah, mommy bought for me a nice, 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 nice looking cup. It was my favorite cup, the only cup I would use to go to school. So every day at school, I'd take tea in my beautiful cup every day for three years. How many years? Three, three years. years. Then one day, early in the morning at like seven, a friend of mine broke my car. It was an accident. It just fell and broke. My favorite car broke. And I was right there watching. So I looked. And I was very, very, very angry. Right? Yes. How do you think I felt? So sad. Sad, yes. I was want to fight. Like I wanted to fight the right? I remember that I'm a child of God, and God's word says we should forgive seven times. Seven, seven times. Seven times. Seven times. Seventy-seven times. Seventy-seven times. Right? So yes. I forgave this friend of mine and didn't do anything. I just told her, Grace, I forgive you for breaking my car. We shall get that another one. Right? Yes. How do you think Grace felt? Happy. Grace felt happy, right? That I wasn't angry at her. Okay. So in the same way, we're seeing that God forgives. Because God is our Father, right? He forgives us. So let us read a scripture. Turn your Bibles to Judges chapter 3, from verse 7 to 11. Judges chapter 3, from verse 7 to 11. It says... The people of Israel 
who got the Lord their God. They sinned against him and worshipped the idols of Baal and Asherah. So the Lord became angry with Israel and let King Shushan Risha time of Mesopotamia conquer them. And he ruled over them for eight years. Then the Israelites cried out to the Lord and he sent a man who freed them. This was Othiniel, the son of Caleb's younger brother, Kenaz. The spirit of the Lord came upon him and he became Israel's leader. Othiniel went to war and the Lord gave him victory over the king of Mesopotamia. There was peace in the land for 40 years then Othiniel died. So my friends here, we are seeing there is a story of the Israelites. Eh? The Israelites first started worshipping what? Idols. They worshipped idols. So was God happy about this? No. no. No, God was not happy. So what did God do? God let another king to conquer them. Eh? This means they became slaves to another king, right? Yes. But then, when they were suffering under that king, they cried out to God. They prayed to God and asked him, God, please save us. And what did God do? Who was listening? What did God do? God sent Othiniel. Very good. Give me a high five. Woo! God sent Othiniel to save them. Okay, so they went to battle. You know what a battle is? We are seeing yes. a spear. Yeah. Came with spears and shields and guns. And they fought and conquered that kingdom. Right? So Othiniel saved them. Because yes. God's spirit had rested upon him. Right? Yes. So my question is, what happens when we pray to God, when we cry out to God, what does God do? God forgives us. He forgives us. He listens to us, right? Yes. And if you remain faithful to him, he's going to do what? Great and mighty things through you. Okay? Yes. So, let's read again. From First John, chapter 1 verse 9 which is our memory verse for the day and it says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins purify us from all unrighteousness do we have sins Hindu, do you have sins yes what did you do yesterday that was a sin my friend, then my friend report me for my mother, my mother to punish me. Okay, Hindu, we are not hearing. What did you do yesterday? That was bad. That I said in one word. I beat my friend. You beat your friend. Was it a good thing? No. Oh, Helen, what bad thing did you do yesterday? Yesterday I abused my friends. Eh? You abused your friend. That is bad. Bad. Eh? But, but it's good that you know that these are sins, right? Yes. So what does God's word say? Confess your sins. Like you have done now, I asked you and the truth will say it. He you meet her friend and you abused your friend. So you have confessed. That is the first step in repenting. The second step, he is faithful and just to forgive us, right? But yes. after confessing, you're not going to just stop there saying, I beat my friend. You're going to ask God, God, I'm sorry. Did you tell God you're sorry? Yes. You told God you're sorry. Did you tell God you're sorry? Yes. Did you also tell your friends you're sorry for abusing them? Yes. Okay. So after repenting to God and apologizing to your friends, you remain content knowing that God has forgiven you. Okay? God has forgiven you. There is nothing so bad that you can do that God can't forgive you. But does this mean that we continue sinning? No. It means that after you've abused your friends and said sorry and asked God to forgive you, you're not going to go back and abuse them again, right? Yes. yes. It means you're going to turn the other way and stop abusing. abusing. You're going to stop abusing. You're going to stop fighting. You're going to stop doing all the bad things that you've done. Okay? Yes. So here yes. no today, have you beaten your friend again? No. Hindu has not beaten her friend. So it means after she repented, 
she has turned away. So she has decided, I'm not fighting anymore. All right? Yes. Yes. So children, if you want to be like my friends here and have your sins forgiven, I'm going to ask you to think about that thing that you did, those things that you've been doing every day that you know don't please God. What are they? Write them down in your notebook and ask God to forgive you. Okay? Yes. Because we were all born sinners. Okay? We were brought into this world as sinners. But when Jesus died on the cross for us, he washed away all our sins. So each and every day when we wake up and repent, we tell God, Jesus, I'm sorry for all my sins. Please forgive me. He's actually going to forgive you and help you to turn away from your sins, okay? Yes. So let's say this prayer after me, children. Repeat this prayer after me so that you can receive Jesus into your life and receive what forgiveness feels like. When you are forgiven, you feel good, right? Yes. You feel happy. You feel overjoyed, okay? Yes. You're not going to be sad because somebody else is angry at you. So if you want to be forgiven by God and you want all the sins to be washed, Say this prayer with us. Hands together. Eyes closed. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. Please come into my life today. Please come into my my life today. today. And be my Lord. And And be be my Lord. Lord. Savior. And Savior. Savior. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. For loving me. For loving me. me. Help me. Help Help me. me. To love you. To To love love you. you. With all my, my heart, heart and do everything and do everything mm-hmm. that makes you happy. That I makes you happy. happy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 So children, if you say that prayer today, you've received the Lord Jesus in your life. Accept him to do the various changes in your life and transform you to be a good child. To be a child that lives according to his standard. A child that does things that please God and honor God, right? Yes. To be able to go every day, what should we do? Read our Bibles. Pray every day. Pray every day. Worship Him. Worship Him every day. What else? What else can we do to grow in God? To grow as children of God. Share the word of God. Share the word of God. So children, that's my task to you. Go back home. Write down all the bad things you've ever done, all the sins that you've ever done. Ask God to forgive you. And then, purpose to read your word every day, pray every day, share the Bible or the good news with somebody new every day. Okay? Yes. And the Lord will continue to show his faithfulness to you yes. and save you from your sins. That's all we had for you this Sunday. Stay blessed. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Only Squire, thank you so much. You always do a good job in our lives because we are always supposed to praise and worship the Lord and that is what exactly you make us to do. Now, thank you so much, Teacher Patience, for the wonderful lesson. It was really, really good. I always learn. This whole month I'm learning that God is all-knowing. So in everything I do, I've been knowing well that God is knowing it and he sees it. So if you do something wrong, God knows it. I'm warning you, children. Okay, so now we are going into our memory verse. And our memory verse comes from the book of 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Everybody say, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. 1 John chapter 1. Verse 9, that's right. The first time I was testing you. Yeah, you know it now. So this is what it says. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all. I mean all unrighteousness. Let me repeat it. First John, chapter 1, chapter 1. 9. Verse 9. 
If we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, he is faithful. He is faithful and just and just and will forgive us and will forgive us our sins. Our sins and purify us and purify us from all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. So, let's do it with actions. Are you ready? All right. First John chapter 1 verse 9. Let's go on the left. One, two, three, go. If we confess our sins, mm -hmm. he is faithful and just, yes, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Let's do it one more time. You remember? Left, right, left, right. Okay, are you ready? First John chapter 1, verse Nine. What does it say? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you so much, children. That was really, really nice. So remember, as I told you, remember, meditate on the word of the Lord day and night. Okay? Okay, thank you so much. And greetings from our lead pastor, Pastor Noba Tugume. See you next Sunday. We love you.